Hey guys, now I'm right here today. We're gonna show you how to do some baseball drills at home. That we do. Yeah, so we made these up. So okay. yeah, we're just gonna get right to it. Drill number one is a, uh, I guess you can use two people to do this drill, but you can do it by yourself if you have a lot of endurance and stuff. Here's how you do it. Well, we'll use this one. Oh, yeah. All right, so you guys, it doesn't matter what type of ball you want, probably a bouncy one or a smaller one, or a reaction ball, if you know what those are, they bounce all over the place. So anyways, you can do this for fielding too, like someone throws against the wall and you got to field it. But this is what he's going to do, you're going to throw it against the wall and then it'll come back and then he go to see it and he's not going to wear it nowhere. I'm going to try to block it. it. Oh, see, it's difficult. But you'll get the hand of it when you start. So here, so here's a good example, ready? So, okay. So at first, you're just going to do it very lightly. And then you here's think how you your do partner it is going very good feeding it. But um, do it a bit tighter. But if you want to do it by yourself, this is how you do it. And you're just going to bounce off the wall. Just block it like that. Right Obviously, here. we don't have here. a good ball. But. And then there's also a car down. Like, if you want to practice pitching, it's like a little pitcher. And like, you can throw it against the wall. And like, then, like, like you can throw oh it all over the place. And then he'll head, try to catch it. And then here you can do it. Here's how you can do it. Building. It's really the same thing, but I'm just gonna no, go down here. Yeah, feel it. Yeah. Really sit in here. Actually, give me a good one. Just like that. So yeah, that is rule number one. I guess we'll call this one uh, the the drill. This is what time it is over here, by the way. This is our second drill. It's a hit and drill. It's a really, hit, really, really extremely. We use this bat because it's super small. Easy. Yeah. So what you're gonna do in this drill? I'm just gonna put you guys say right here. Many softballs. Soft school shoe balls. And it's practically just soft toss. When we hit our ass against the house, that's why we need soft balls. But we use hard small bats too. So what you gonna so do? So you really gotta learn how to extend our hands. You just gotta the ball a little. You gotta smack it against the wall. There, we'll do two more. Two more shots. It's oh. not easy. Still, it's like, not easy. Cause sometimes they come in at you. Yeah. And I would recommend like a two hard more. to hit ball, like a small one or a small one or something like this that that moves in the wind. Cause it makes the batter harder to hit it. Yeah, and try to like try to jam them and try to make them extend their arms like, like that. Try so to get a small they can bat train if you better can. like that. So yeah, that's drill number two. As you can see, we got a lot of balls. So what we're gonna do, we're you can take like do a full round. We won't do the whole round, but you just take them out. So what? Uh, I'll take this and just roll it to them. So when also when you're done and you have all your balls over there, you can do it to the other person. That's not to you. So I'll throw now a sponge baseball so I'll make it easier to field. That's all we do. And finally the that's last one we do our ground will be the scrum. And that sometimes will work our back hands. And, and forehands and stuff like that. We only did a couple, but you guys can do the whole round. Okay, ready? Well, we also do a lot of cool stuff. I'll just use this ball. This is number four. Because you can also do this against the ball, too. You throw it, once you get it, throw it back. And if you have someone else, don't make them bored. So, give them the ball. Give them the ball. We're just going to use this little sponge thing right here. And what you'll do, you're going to toss it to them. Here's a tip. It's like once you get good at that, you can catch it like that. Yeah. So it's you like toss this, it to like them like and catch it like that. It's very difficult. That's why he just let go with it for a time. But uh, as you can see, he's getting better at ah. it. But yeah, here is the fifth uh, drill. So another one uh, is really fun. It's probably the funnest one. Uh, it's number five. Uh, what you gotta do is just toss a little ball 
And pretend that you're Robin Homer and pass me the ball, please. It's the most fun that there is, actually. Okay. Look, I'll throw him one right so, now, and then he's going to pretend that he's Robin it. Ready? Yeah. Also, if you do it by yourself, you can, like, lean down. Yeah, so, like, you're trying to... in and stuff. And to make it even more extreme and funner, you can put on a catcher's mask. And, and like throw it away. Like and then make a magic trick. No, let's do a magic trick. So that's it. Take out the mask. <laughs> magic trick. And there's all kinds of other drills that uh, you guys like can sometimes do. Sometimes another one that we do for running. All we really do, we just try to like, I don't know, like run from there to the other side. Or sometimes we'll just shuffle or carry your feet over. We just do that kind of stuff too sometimes, but we rarely do that. I do about like two wraps around this house. This house is pretty sized, so you can run around the whole thing. Shoot. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that's gonna include this video. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Normally, bye. bye.